Okay, this is a quick lesson on how to make double strip layouts in half the time. And most of us didn't even know it was here. Most of my layouts are done with the double strip layout style that you see here. And inside the layout editor, I will take and create a double strip layout and check the display split box, which means I have to create the left side and then duplicate it and then create the right side by moving the duplication over and blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's a much easier way to do that that many of us didn't even know was here. When you create a new layout, name it whatever you want, blah, 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 okay? And I'm going to make it a 4 by 6 portrait, double strip up and down, widescreen photo boxes at 300 DPI, but there's this little strip layout printed double box. What is that? Well, most of us didn't know it was there, and I'm part of the support team. I knew it was there, but I don't use it. But when you use it, you click on it and click OK. Now you are creating one side of the layout with it doubled automatically. Let me throw in a quick example here on how to do that. You would have to have, obviously, a background image that is half the size of a normal background image. And I think I've got one here in my layout someplace if I can find it. Where did it go? Do, 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 do. I got a bunch of photo boxes that I've saved, and I should have had this ready, so I'm not wasting. Here it is. Okay, so I've got a background, and I'm going to use this as a background image. Okay, so I'm going to click Open and put that in the background. Okay, and I add in a photo box, and I'm going to play. I'm just going to throw these up here quickly. Even though they're on top, this would normally be an overlay. I'm just trying to do this quick. Grab the next photo box, move it, move it up, get it in place. Grab the next photo box, move it down, get it in place. Okay. And now what I need to do is because the Eiffel Tower needs to be on top, I'm going to basically bring in the same image. Uh, but I'm not going to bring it in as an overlay over here on the right. Okay. It, well, I'm sorry. Got to click away from it. I don't want to bring it in as an overlay. I want to bring it in as an, an actual image file, okay, so that it can be placed on top of the background. So I don't need the background anymore, so I deleted that. So now when you look at it in a preview, it will show you the photo boxes with the overlay image brought in as an image file as a single strip. Perfectly fine, okay? But you're saying, well, I, I want a double strip because it prints double strips. Well, when you close this window, that single strip becomes a double strip over here someplace on this side. So it creates a double strip, and you only have to create one side. That's that's simple and easy. And it can work and it will work with if I deleted this one here and click yes, I want to get rid of that one. And let's say I'm doing a horizontal strip like this one here. I create a new layout, call it whatever you want, okay? It's going to be horizontal or landscape, widescreen, double strip, click OK. I create a half again across the bottom side, and it'll do the same thing. Just a little note on how, that's, how slick and easy it can be done. Thought maybe it would be helpful to most people out there. I'm done.